To solve Android 12 and keyboard and mouse not working problem of Panda Mouse Pro, recently one application has been launched. The application name is Panda Script Patcher. So today I'll be showing how you can use this app to activate your Panda Mouse Pro with the help of another mobile. That is called mobile to mobile activation. So without any delay, let's get started. So for mobile to mobile activation, you need two mobile. One mobile on which you are activating your Panda Mouse Pro and another mobile from which you are activating your Panda Mouse Pro. And other than that, you need one OTG cable of another mobile and original data cable of first mobile. So first, let me tell you what you need to do in your first phone. So first of all, you need to enable your developer options. So go to the mobile setting and then about phone, then search for build number. Then you have to tap seven times on build number. This will enable your developer options. Now go to the developer options. You can find your developer options either in addition setting or in system. So in developer options, you have to enable couple of settings. So first setting is USB debugging. So enable it and down below if you have USB debugging security setting, then you also have to enable this setting. And there is one more setting named disable permission monitoring. So if you have this setting, you also have to enable this setting. So settings are done in this phone. Now you can go to your Panda Mouse Pro app. Now let me tell you what you need to do in your another phone. So in the other phone, you need to install one application named ADB to OTG. You can easily find this application in Play Store. Just install and open it. After opening, you can see interface like this. Now you have to connect your both phone. So first plug your OTG cable in your second phone and then connect with your original data cable to your first phone. After connecting, you can see this dialog in your second phone asking to accept ADB to OTG as default application to handle ADB commands. Just click on OK. And here in the first phone, you can see one dialog asking to allow USB debugging. Just check on always and click OK. Your phone will be connected, but by any reason, if your phone is not connected, just unplug your data cable and plug it again. It will be connected automatically. Now you can see it is connected and you will be able to enter the command. Now go to your first phone and install one application named Panda Script Fetcher. You can find easily in your Play Store. Just open your Play Store and install this application. When you open this application, you can see interface like this. Now what you need to do first, you need to click this patch activator script button. Just click on it. Now you will be presented with an ad. You need to watch this ad full in order to patch the activator script successfully. Now close this pop up and you can see patching is done. Now you can see in step 3, one command is given. You need to run this command in your other phone. So you can copy easily this command from this button. So in order to send this command to your other phone, you can use your WhatsApp or any messaging tool or you can download Panda script patcher in your other phone also. And simply by the copy button, you can copy this third number command. Now just copy this command and paste it in your ADB to OTG application. Now click on run. And you will see command is running and after a while you can see activation done message will come. So here activation is done. Now you can go to your other phone and you can see your Panda Mouse Pro has been successfully activated. But we are not done yet. If you are having Android 12 mobile, then you need to run this fourth number command also. Just copy it and paste it in your ADB to OTG application and run. Now with the help of this command, your Android 12 touch problem will be fixed. Now we are all set to play our favorite game like Free Fire, PUBG Mobile or Call of Duty using Panda Mouse Pro. So let me connect keyboard and mouse. So whenever you are connecting your keyboard and mouse to your phone, first connect your USB hub then plug one by one. Because if you connect both at once, it could be possible that one of them will not work. And whenever one of these devices is not working, just plug one out and plug it again. Now let me jump into the game and show you everything is working. So here I am in Free Fire, you can see keyboard is also working and mouse is also working and here I am in call of duty mobile and you can see everything working perfectly fine and in the last pubg mobile you can see keyboard is also working and mouse is also working so that's all for this video friends if this video was helpful Go ahead and please help me out by leaving a like, subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you soon. This is Vivek signing off.